is the voice of disruption. Hi, this is Ken Rakowski, and this is Voice of Disruption. Our, we're focusing on music. This is Music Disrupted. Scotty Page is joining us. Scott, Scott, Scott Page. Who, Ken course, Rakowski, Ken Rakowski. Been in some great bands that range from, uh, well, Toto, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Uh, Super Tramp. Yep. Pink Floyd. Yep. You know talent. You know just the love of music. I love music. But being an artist and loving music, they have to go hand in hand, right? Yeah, I would Ooh, think so, there's yes. A pause no, there. no, absolutely. I mean, I think that it's the, the best artists really care about being artists, I think. They love, love they what love they it. do. Sure, they should at least, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, what do they say? Once you love your work, it feels like you're never working again. That's right. I've never had a job in my life. Right, because you love what you do. Yep, I do, absolutely. And the artists that we're with, maybe I believe she totally is in love with being an artist. Shalita Burks joining us. Do you agree with me? I do agree. You love it. I do. I Big do. time. But you had a chance to sample the other side, a normal nine to five, traditional type job. No, I didn't. Never? Never. But you worked with actually one of the bigger brands out there, Microsoft. I did, but I always was the boss and I ran my own show. Oh. I worked from home to my bedroom. <laughs> I got it. Okay, so you've always had your own parameters. I've always had my own parameters. Okay. Because the idea is if you want to work with me, then you'll give me my parameters. Yeah, she's very, there's no, I've been working with her some now. <laughs> it's very. It's cut or dry. It's cut or dry. It's, oh, yeah. yeah, there's no. There's only one life that you get to live. So time is the most expensive resource that you have. So I hear what you're saying, but when you're an artist, do you have to, and I don't know the answer I'm asking, okay? Okay. Do you need to be lenient for your audience to be attracted to you or do they want structure and do they want sternness? Structure in terms of what? This is the way it is. I'm not gonna bend. This is how I'm gonna be. Or, or, or oh, okay. you know, that, if you're I living think, your life like that, are you like that as an artist also? I, I think it's more like the more you can connect with the authentic self, mm -hmm. the more that the people that are watching you and contributing to you and supporting you, the more they can connect with you as well on your terms. So they like seeing you as a strong individual. Yeah. They do. Yes. Scott, you've been working with Shalita for a while. Actually, yep. you guys, uh, you pal around constantly. Yep. You get really excited, not just as as an artist. Her artistry is great. Voice is amazing. She's unique enough. You also like this mastering side of this world of of analytics and numbers and all this. You get excited by. She's got like a superpower talent there. Yeah, and I think for me, I mean, that's what's exciting because again, I've dealt with a lot of artists through the years, and you know, when we were doing the show. We met with over 100 plus artists on the show. Right. And I have to say that I think you, she's really uniquely positioned because she has a certain, she not only is an incredible singer, songwriter, and the most unique voice and very passionate, very, can really deliver. She has this analytical side of her, obviously because of her you know, data science background. And, that, mm. and she's basically one of the first artists to kind of start really blending the two together in a very unique way. I don't really know of any. There's been a handful of artists that have kind of been known that have kind of been sort of on the tech edge. Uh, uh, Dave, you know, Burn, I yeah. mean, you got, you got a few, right? There's a few, but, but not a whole lot. Like what Shalita no, does. especially today because there's so much disruption in the marketplace. Right. So, so Shirley, how do you break through? Let, let's. Let, can I throw some buzzwords out, and you tell me where you you connect with? Okay. Okay. Um, Twitter. <laughs> I, I think Twitter is awesome. You have a love affair there. I love Twitter. I love Twitter because you can get instant reactions from fans. Instant. Because reactions. it's a real time data engine, which is really amazing. It's a real time engine. Fabulous, right? The analytics are fabulous. And they're free. And they are free right now. They are free. Oh, that's gonna yes. change. Yes. So Instagram, any any emotion there yet? I, I now have come to really love Instagram. It wasn't an instant love affair. It wasn't instant in the beginning, it but wasn't. now I really like it. Do you love Instagram, Scott? I'm starting to. I'm, I've I now just started it. engaging more now, too, and getting into it. Um, I find that it's a little different. What I like about Twitter is when the conversation, there's more conversation. In Instagram, people are like, wow, that's cool. That's nice. So there's not a lot of conversation, mm. but it is interesting because of the pictures, the imagery, the, you know, the kind of the inner, the inner, the, the well, interaction is totally me, different. Uh, the reason why I really, really love Instagram now is because before I would just post pictures and just leave them there, and then people would like comment and try to talk to me, and I didn't really know what I was doing on Instagram. Right. But now I use Instagram like every day, and most of the conversation is happening in the DM space, actually, direct message. Right. Space. Same like Twitter, right? And so, yeah. and it's the same like Twitter in that aspect. 
But is every social platform almost like a different language? Yes. You There's a different type of person that prefers an array of the social media landscape. Okay. So, for instance, you know, Twitter is where you have the conversation, and then Instagram is where Instagram is where you show the conversation. Ah. And so it's different. Is right? there a different audience too, or is it, it the same? No, it's a different audience okay. altogether. You got it. All. Yes. And if you look at social media as this connection tool, this communication platform. Mm -hmm. How are your performances, meaning the people that you meet, do they follow you? Or are they those fans online as well as your real world fans? I, I would say yes. Yeah? Yes. Um, but I would also say that I'm doing a lot of live concerts right now. So like, you know, live, live streaming. Live streaming, okay. Yes. And what people, platform do you like using there, by the way? Periscope. Periscope. Yes, I know it's like a dinosaur, but I love it. I really and why is that? What, what do you see about I love Periscope? Periscope because it sits on top of a real data engine. Being Twitter. Being Twitter, and so real time reactions faster. Mm -hmm. And Facebook is catching up, which is great. I like Periscope better than Facebook Live. But also. the user base isn't quite there. The user base in, in Periscope has developed through a long period of mm -hmm. time versus on. Okay. I'm not saying don't use Facebook because I'm going to go to that landscape you know, soon. It, it kind of sucks that Google Plus never really took off on their Google Live because that was a great platform. It yeah. was a great platform. And, and why do you think that never made it? Because I think that the community building aspect of any product has to be number one. Mm. Culture. And, and when you it's make that number one, then people will use your platform more. Like loyalties is very important. For instance, AOL has been around for ages because of the loyalty. Right, that makes right? sense. And so you can have the best tech in the world, but if you don't have the community building aspect to it, then yeah. what do you really have? So Scott was inspired as an artist by a lot of drugs. <laughs> okay, he would oh. just kind of zone out. <laughs> right. He right. laughs, but he doesn't deny. <laughs> what inspires you? How do you get in that zone? Humanity. Humanity? Humanity. Explain that one. I'm inspired by every person that I talk to. I talk to, on average, about 5,000 people a day because mm -hmm. the online... You mean you, you, you broadcast to 5,000 people. You're not no, physically talking. No, I physically message 5,000 new people a day. Wow. Every day. That's crazy. And, and, you know, because I want them to hear my music. Right, and, right. <laughs> but um, humanity... And you know what? What I like about that is not everyone responds to me right away. So I message that many people a day, but not everyone responds. There's a delayed But for the response. people who do respond, they tell me their personal stories. Mm. And I am very much inspired by that. And I wouldn't have known that before if I didn't go out and contact so many people. That makes sense. Shalita Burke is joining us. Scott Page, of course, always here. Uh, Scott's job is to go off and look for great talent and bring them on the show with us every single episode, every which is great. Every episode. And you get really excited about Shalita, and yeah. you, rightfully so. Yeah, I mean, part of the thing about Shalita is not only you know, great singer stuff, she has a, an ability to move people in a live situation. Yeah, she's and a transformer. Really, it's Aww. really transforming, yeah. Yeah, you're doing that. Um, inspirations, if it's not just humanity, which is great, is there certain people out there you admire? So if you could have a lunch table with three amazing people, okay, who would be at that lunch? You and three other people, well, who would be sitting there? Well, most of them are dead. Well, so who's alive I, I would, right I would, now? <laughs> who's alive right now? Oh, wow. That's... Don't hurt my feelings. No, just <laughs> well, you always have lunch with her, okay? No, I'm, I'm guessing kidding. it's people you normally don't get to spend time with. Um, it would be great to have a lunch with Oprah. Oprah? Oprah. Um, also, um... You would have to eat all her food, by the way. <laughs> right? You have to get the Oprah menu. Got it, Oprah? Um, and I, Elon Musk. Elon, very cool. Um, I like this. Who would you... Who's the end one there? Um, you know, it also... It's, it's hard to choose the end one. Um, we'll have to come back to that question. Jane Goodall? I just, just a thought. Right? How did you know? Am I right? Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That would be at my table. But, yes. That would be yes. like the most yes. incredible, like, I don't want to leave Well, ever. her name just popped up in my head. I was going to say it. And then you said it. I'm just like, wow. All right. We got it. So um, music has to be flowing through you as an artist. How often do you have to come up with new content? Well, I write three to four songs a day. How much of that is really good? You know, I would say on average, all of them, because I'm an egomaniac. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I would say I would, one good song a day. A day? Mm -hmm. Is that about right, Scott? Yeah, I mean, she definitely gets a good 
there's always something really good in her always songs. Always as an artist. You always there's something, something really good in her songs. I hear them in the early stages. You know, obviously they need to develop as, as they go in the studio, but there's always a good hook. There's always something of uniqueness in her songs. If you weren't an artist, a musical artist, okay. what would you be doing? I would be dead. No, no, no. Let's just say you can't die. What would you be doing? <laughs> if I could be another die, career? then I wouldn't be in existence because I... Um, that's it. That's what you are. That's it. That's it. I, I am depressed if I'm not playing music or doing something wow. with music. I, I don't feel like I have a purpose. Like yeah. I, I feel like purpose is gone. Scott Page would be a lion tamer. I'd be a lion tamer. <laughs> <laughs> Gunther Gable, Williams, move over. Scott Page is there. So this is what we're going to do. We're really excited. You've hit some massive milestones from being yeah. on the show. Yes. You know, uh, millions of people have listened to you. You've been on uh, profile in some of the top financial uh, magazines yes. uh, as well as business magazines. Another high five. Woo woo. Thank you. Yeah. And we are going to get to hear um, one of your number one songs. Yes. Which I'm excited about. Scott, two things that get you about uh, ex get you excited about Shalita are. Her passion for doing what she does. I've never heard, seen an artist in my entire life that works as hard as this. Gets up every day. She's one of those kind of people that has that, that ability to sleep a couple hours, then work hours, then sleep a few hours and work. Oh. And she does that 24-7, and she never gives up. Second thing that excites me is I learn something from her every time I talk to her. Really? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm get, I, the knowledge that I've gained from her has been incredible. She's hit me to things that I, are just extraordinary. Since you get to work with Scott, give, give me two things quickly about him. <laughs> no matter what's happening around him, he's always positive. I've he never is. seen Mr. a dull Optimist. moment. Mr. Optimist, one more, one more thing. Ever. Also, I, I love um, the way he approaches business. There you go. Wow. Yes. Sounds like you guys got something going. I like it a lot. <laughs> there you go. All right, people want to find you, Shalita. Where do they go? They go to shop.shalitaburke.com. That's where you go. Yes. Or you can just type Shalita Burke and it'll come up everywhere. 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 She's done it. All right, everywhere. there yeah. you go. She's a Google. Well, we'll hear a song from Shalita. Of course, we're here all the time. Scott, thanks a lot for hanging out. Yep. Shalita again, congratulations. You are hanging out with us here at The Voice of Disruption. And of course, this is Music Disrupted. I'm Ken Rakowski. Let's go listen to some music. We'll be right back. Hi, hi. Mm, I demand your attention. You Live in mine. Hi, hi. Mm, I feel your intentions. You stay in mine. It's not a dying art. True love must be fought for, baby. I cannot be bought You're always at my heart now, baby You've been craving me a lot My touch is thoughtful, baby I'ma call the shots Won't you come to me, baby? Attention, you live in mine. Hi, hi. Mm, I feel your intentions. You stay in my penetrated eye. Slow grind. I'ma be on top. Penetrate my thoughts. I slow grind. I'ma be on top. Penetrate my thoughts. If you wanna stay with me. You better treat me right now, baby You want this love for free You better hold me tight now, baby You're making me so hot Let's not get caught now, baby I must want you a lot You better not stop, oh baby Attention, you live in mine. Hi, hi. Mm, I feel your intentions. You stay in my penetrated eye. Slow grind. I'ma be on top. Penetrate my thoughts. I slow grind. I'ma be on top. Penetrate my thoughts. I slow grind. 
I'ma be on top, penetrate my thoughts Kissing my lips and my body is concentrating Right here, right now, I'm making it complicated You're giving me pleasure, I'm feeling intoxicated Coming together, it's over situated. I'm so grind, I'ma be on top, penetrate my thoughts I'ma be on top, penetrate my thoughts